Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Wood Shop. Welcome on out to the shop. So this week we just got a few announcements to make. Uh, got some work done out here in the shop this week. Got a pen uh, turned up and sold and sent out. Got uh, got some testing done and actually got some new stuff in. So we figured I'd just hop out and show you guys what we've got in the shop. So first and foremost, you can see behind me, I actually got one of the Solar Color Dust test blanks turned up last week and I actually live streamed this on Instagram and some of you guys um, actually joined me on this. Lizard Blanks actually joined me on the Instagram page and was watching it live so it was pretty neat. Um, this one was the uh, the V2 version 2 uh, violet, green, and red, or no, violet, blue, and what was it? Violet, blue, and red, or blue, violet, red version 2 and it turned out really spectacularly. It's got some really good colors there, uh, which should be showing up. Yeah, those are showing up, okay. Um, and they, they transition really, really well. They look really cool. Um, but the grains, like the, the particle size, are a little bit large for what I'm looking for, um, for doing with the nebula blanks. And then I didn't get perfect coverage. Like this section toward the top got a lot of it. But then like this area toward the back is actually pretty clear, like there's not a whole lot of color there. So it's it's not a very even um, dispersion of the particles inside the blank. It looks really nice on the side that has a lot of the particles and the transitions are really cool. Um, but the side that doesn't have a whole lot of particles, it's not that great. So happy with that. It looks neat. It might look good with like a, a black um base and then mixed into that and so that might be something we try with that because i've still got some left but this was just a clear and straight pigment and then painted the tubes black and so you can actually see the tube through that and so it's not not quite what we're going for there we want we want to have just straight color like you can see all that color there and you can actually see the blue and and violet and red mixing there looks really cool but not the best look um, for what I'm going for so got a box in from glue boost really love this product it is so neat be nice if I was holding the box right side up but got a shipment from glue boost absolutely love this product I'll do a full review on this on how to apply it and how to use it um, not sponsored by them at all uh, Glue Boost, if you are paying attention, I would love a sponsorship because this stuff is the greatest for doing um, wood finishes and doing like the hybrid blanks. And I did a super hybrid blank just the other day with it. It is fantastic. Absolutely love this stuff. And you can't see it up there because I've actually been doing uh, my pen blanks, the Calico Spalted Maple Burl blanks. I've actually been putting Glue Boost finish onto those blanks before I ship them out to you guys so you can kind of see already when you pull them out the colors you're going to get and how the spalting looks and all of that so I've been doing that on the actual blanks that I've been sending you and they've been working out pretty well so bought some more glue boost they had a sale uh, just recently got some more of the glue and bought the accelerator the accelerator is the big thing that's the key to the system is the accelerator doesn't blush it doesn't fog it doesn't do any of that stuff and uh, the glue itself, I mean, is spectacular as well. And it's flexible, so you don't have to worry about it cracking. It's just a wonderful finish. I'll do a full review here real soon. That's part of why I, I picked this up, so I have um, more of the stuff to show because my accelerator is almost out. And I got some more wood. I actually picked up from my local dealer here um, in Silverton, Oregon, some more pieces of spalted uh, maple burl. So I've got some more spalted maple burl, some really pretty sections. Um, this one isn't as heavy into the spalting. Uh, it does have some sections of it, uh, but I really, I just like this burl piece. I love all of the natural live edge, all the spikiness that you get um, on the maple burls. And so I love this piece for that. It's not a whole lot. It's only about an inch thick, um, but there's enough there to do plenty with, especially with that live edge. So got that piece, I got, I'll save the best one for last, I got this small piece, there's not a whole lot to it, it's just a couple inches wide, like three inches wide, 
about 10, well, maybe 11 inches long. A lot of spalting right there in the corner. Um, but this one actually has some really nice figuring on it. And so I liked the look of it. And so I, uh, I bid on it. I won it. And uh, it, they shipped it to me. And I, I really like the figuring. I might leave this one thicker. Um, it's probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches thick. And uh, might make some bottle stopper blanks out of this. Might stabilize it. Make some bottle stopper blanks or even knife scales. I think with as bold as those spalting lines are, they'd make some pretty good knife scales. So if you guys have interest in knife scales, uh, maybe I'll get those going here soon in the future. Let's see. Still saving the best for last. Go down further into the box here. Got this really neat piece with some more spalting on there. More spalted uh, maple burl. And then got some really good colors on this end. Really like how that one turns out. It's got this huge void here in the center. You know, I, I am undecided what I want to do with that. I know I got to get all that bark and stuff cleaned up. But I've got this huge void in the middle. And I got to figure out what I want to do with that. Because there's a lot of opportunities with that, as big as that void is. And uh, I could do a lot of different things with it. And so I, I got to figure that out. Um, but it was just too neat to pass up. And the thing that I like about about this uh, this eBayer uh, is he sells all of his woods online, uh, but then he also uh, will combine shipping, and so you can order multiple pieces. And if you have like one that's expiring one day, one expiring another, he'll let you wait and then pay up for all of it at once, combine all the shipping, and then he'll send it to you. So absolutely love uh, the fact that he does that, and I've picked up a lot of pieces from him, and I especially love all of these really heavily spalted uh, maple burl blanks that he's got with this calico dual color going here. Just love these. So I've got that huge void in this one. Got to figure out what I'm going to do with it because that is just too cool. And then the last piece that I got, got this huge 15 inch long piece of spalted calico maple burl. And look at the colors that we've got now. We've got red tones, um, some light brown tones, almost some olive wood style lines cutting through this section down here in the bottom. Really a beautiful piece. I'm really happy with this one. It's got some figuring to it as well. And you can't really tell looking at the face of it. But when you look at this backside, you can actually see the figuring going through it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. Maybe a little bit right there you can see, but it's, you can see that there's there's some figuring going through the spalted section there, and it's got some figuring through here. Don't know if you guys can see that still. Um, still kind of working out, you know, the lighting angles and things, but uh, really happy with this piece. It does have some, some holes in there that you guys can see right there. Those black spots, those are actually holes that are going down through and inside, and then it's got this void section here that uh, I'm going to do something with. I haven't figured out what yet, but I'll have to chip out all of the bark and rotted, well, fully rotted stuff out of there, and then uh, stabilize that up. Maybe do some bottle stopper blanks, you know, cut it straight down through here and make some bottle stopper blanks. Not sure, but it's got lots of lines going through here. It's got a lot of um, the mixture of regular wood and then the spalted wood, you know, the, the fungal wood. And so it's it's definitely soft, so it's been going for a little while, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's a wonderful piece, really happy for that. So we're going to get some more spalted maple burl going out. Um, this one isn't so much a burl as it is a, a calico spalted figured maple is more of what this one is, uh, but it is a beautiful piece and really excited to get this one cut down and then processed and uh, we'll just have to get that going. Got a lot going on in the personal life. Been working a lot of hours lately. I think last week I pulled a 64 hour week and it's been super busy and so I have been working my tail off and uh, haven't been able to get out into the shop here as much. I did get a pen turned up that a customer ordered and I'm getting some bottle stopper blanks actually mailed out tomorrow uh, for a customer that ordered some of those uh, uh, Cosmos bottle stopper blanks this, a couple of days ago. Got another pen that I'm working on. I'm actually doing a uh, testing of some reds. We've got a customer that wants some red with sparkle and so I've actually gotten, I'll throw a photo here, the, the casting that I did 
So we're doing some reds with sparkles. I've even got red sparkles that I did another one on. So I've got four different blanks in a pressure pot right now. One's red with fluorescent and glitter. One is, what was it? Red russet with glitter. And then another one is red glitter with uh, the regular holographic glitter that the other two had as well and then some pearl powder in all four of them and then the fourth one is just straight fluorescent red with the holographic glitter and pearl powder and so gonna be testing those up send pictures to my customers see which one he wants and then I'll take that out here to the lathe and turn it up and we'll just see how it turns out so really excited so happy that uh, we got that order in because that's that was a fun one him and I were going back and forth a lot um, he was asking questions about different things that I can do and that's what we came up with and so excited to be uh, getting that one turned up for him and we'll just see how that one turns out so that's it for this week just a quick video I'm trying to keep them short for you guys that way I don't lose your attention at any point you guys can just get the updates and see what's going on see what we've got planned and so we'll go ahead and cut it there thanks so much for joining me out in the shop this week this is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out be sure to check out some of my other videos like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at uh, Suits Crafting on Instagram as well because I'll be posting more in the live streams uh, on Instagram here going into the future now that I've actually got a router extender that extends my internet all the way out here to my shop, which is a fantastic thing. And so I'll be going more live on Instagram here soon. So check you guys later. Happy turning.